in this video, we're going to look at a couple of examples on how to solve cubic equations. And so in this first problem, we have x cubed minus 216 equals 0. This is a difference of cubes, so we're going to use the factoring technique of a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. And so let's first identify our a and our b. And so for here, we have a cube root of x cubed is x, cube root of 216 is 6, so b is 6. a is x, b is 6, so we go ahead and do our factoring. So we have a minus b, so that is x minus 6, first parentheses. Now in the second parentheses, we have a squared, so since a is x, I have x squared. We have plus a times b, so x times 6 is 6x, plus b squared, so 6 squared is 36, and that equals 0. And so this is my factored form. Now, I'm not just asked to factor it, I'm asked to also solve it. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to solve. Now, remember when you solve, the first parentheses represents your real solution. And the second parentheses represents your imaginary solution. And when you're solving the imaginary, you're going to need to use the quadratic formula. So let's just go ahead and solve. The first parentheses, x minus 6, set it equal to 0. x minus 6 equals 0. You know, x is 6. Easy to solve for the real. Harder one to solve for is your imaginary, because we're going to have to use our quadratic formula. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And so what you're going to do is we take a look. Our a here is 1, our b is 6, and our c is 36. So I have x equals negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 36 all over 2a which is 2 times 1. And so what we want to do is you know 6 squared is 36 4 times 1 times 36 is 144. So I have negative 6 plus or minus the square root of negative 108 over 2. Well, if we simplify the square root of negative 108, you know, there's a negative inside of the radical, which means you have an imaginary answer. So let's grab this. We can shrink them down, give myself a little bit more room. So let's factor off to the right. You know, negative 108. Let's actually simplify that radical. So the negative comes out and becomes an i. Negative 108 is, I could say, 36 times 3. You know, 36 is 6 times 6. Now remember, it doesn't always have to be prime numbers that you factor into. You factor until you get a pair when you're dealing with simplifying radicals. So since I have a pair of 6s, I can take one out. And so I get 6i with a 3 inside, and 3 can't do anything with, so that is the factor form. So I have, really, x equals negative 6 plus or minus 6i square root of 3 over 2. And remember, this is protected, but your two terms, negative 6 and 6, are all divisible by 2. So I have x equals negative 3 plus or minus 3 i square root of 3. And so here are my imaginary answers. So we have our real, x equals 6. We have our imaginary, x equals negative 3 plus or minus 3i square root of 3. Let's try number 2. Number 2, I have 8x cubed plus 125. So this is going to use the factoring technique of a cubed plus b cubed, which says a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b 
squared. And so if I take a look, I need to identify a and b. So the cube root of 8 is 2. The cube root of x cubed is x, so a is 2x. The cube root of 125 is 5. So my first factored form, a plus b, is going to be 2x plus 5. And the next parentheses, I have a squared. So square the 2, it's 4. Square the x, it's x squared minus a times b, so 2x times 5 is 10x, plus b squared, which is 5 squared, which is 25. Again, remember, the 2x plus 5 is going to represent your real answer, and the 4x squared minus 10x plus 25 is going to represent your imaginary answer. So let's solve the real one first. You know, 2x plus 5 equals 0. 2x equals negative 5. x is negative 5 halves. There's your first solution. Now to solve the other one, remember we need our quadratic formula. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. We identify a, b, and c. So here, a is 4 b is negative 10, and c is 25. So x equals negative of b. So the negative of negative is a positive. So you have positive 10 plus or minus b squared, so negative 10 squared, minus 4 times a, so 4 times 4, times c, which is 25, all over twice a, so twice 4. So I have positive 10 plus or minus. Now inside the square root, we have negative 10 squared, which is positive 100. You know, 4 times 4 times 25 is 400. So I have 100 minus 400 is negative 300. And 2 times 4 is 8. And so just like before, I'm going to want to simplify my radical. So the, I, no, the negative comes out and becomes an i. So you have i squared root of 300. You know, 300 is 3 times 100. You know, 100 is 10 times 10. Remember, again, you know, you don't have to just break down to the prime numbers. You just break down until you see pairs. You know, I have a pair of 10. And so I can take out a 10. So I have 10i and a 3 remains inside. And so my expression, I have x equals 10 plus or minus 10i square root of 3 over 8. Now, if you take a look at your terms, 10, 10i, and 8, they're all even. So this becomes x equals, divide them all by 2, I get 5 plus or minus 5i square root of 3 over 4. And there is my imaginary solutions. x equals 5 plus or minus 5i squared of 3 over 4. And my real solution is x equals negative 5 halves. So this is how you solve cubic equations by factoring. You have to factor either into the sum or difference of cubes, solve for the real answer, which is very easy, However, for the a squared plus ab plus b squared or the a squared minus ab plus b squared, that quadratic, you have to use the quadratic formula, solve and simplify.